Live from City Hall in downtown Austin, Texas, the live music capital of the world, the City of Austin presents Live from the Plaza. Hello, I'm Austin Mayor Lee Leffingwell. Welcome to Live Music on the Plaza on April 1st, 2011. And it's not an April Fool's joke either. I'm proud to be a mayor of the city that supports music in so many different ways. Live music on the plaza, uh, live music at council meetings, South by Southwest, ACL, Reg A, and so many others. It's a great privilege for me to be here and introduce live music today especially because one of my favorite musicians, Matt the Electrician, is here. He's, he is just back from a world tour, which included, it actually is a world tour, and that's not an April Fool's joke. It included a trip to Japan with an Austin awesome delegation to visit our sister city there. So we're really proud. Matt was at uh, city council about two or three weeks ago playing for us. We enjoyed him so much. So welcome, Matt the Electrician. Welcome to live music at the Plaza. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Sorry. 
That's the title track of a, of a new record that I just finished, uh, finished working on, and it's going to be coming out in June. We're going to play another song right now from that record. And this is, uh, this is a song that I had the pleasure to play a couple weeks ago at the, at the City, Hall, uh, City Hall meeting, and I, I was able to perform it with, uh, with a woman that I co-wrote it with. Um, her name is Ida Wenowi, and she lives in, uh, in Denmark, and I wrote it with her uh, about a year ago at a castle in Denmark, which is just as cool as it sounds. It was a haunted castle. I, actually, I assume that it still is a haunted castle, as there's been no exorcisms or anything like that, in the, or ghost busting of any kind uh, since that happened. But. Um, but we wrote it in this castle and it was haunted and we decided we wanted to write a song about ghosts and it just so happened that at the time she was also going through uh, the end of a relationship and so uh, this is kind of about ghosts, kind of not. It's called Ghost Story. This, this might be the most beautiful day in Austin ever. Yeah. What if it's just an April Fool's joke and then like it's gonna it'll be thunderstorms in about 20 minutes? That'd be weird if it was a cosmic April Fool's joke. Yeah. <laughs> this is my good friend right over here, Scrappy Jed Newcomb on the metal guitar. 
And my other very good friend and the, uh, the co-producer and engineer of my last couple records, Mark Addison on the bass guitar. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna play a song right now that's uh, this goes out to everybody who who's out there working, or you know if you're just on lunch and you're gonna go back to work, then it's for you too. And, but this is uh, this is especially for all of the uh, all of the working musicians here in Austin. This is a Kevin Welch song. Thank you very much. Oh, that's a that's a Kevin Welch song. Kevin plays here in Austin as well as his his two beautiful children. They're gorgeous, gorgeous children, Dustin Welch and Savannah Welch. I feel like uh, on a day that's that's this beautiful that all the guitars should just be in tune. Like they should just tune themselves just out of the sheer beauty of the day. Or, I mean, how could you be out of tune on a d Really, I could play whatever and it would be in tune because the day is just that nice. It doesn't matter really what I do. Just, just don't even do it, yeah.
Well, as the, uh, as the mayor pointed out, um, I did a trip last year over to Japan to uh, Austin's sister city, Oida, and I played, played at the Yamera Music Festival, which is, a, which is a music festival that they do in the city of Oida in Japan, um, and it's only a couple years old. Um, they're kind of they're still figuring out how to how to how to put it together and how to run it and and it, it was a really wonderful it was a wonderful music festival and it was a wonderful time over there and they came over here during south by southwest to uh to meet with people at the city of austin and to meet with people uh that work with south by southwest to uh to find out ideas for how they can better run their music festival and um, it was very exciting to see them over here and and I've had the good fortune to, to go over to Japan uh, about four times in the last four years to tour. And um, so especially with the current state of things over in Japan, uh, I've been spending a lot of time thinking about a lot of friends and that I have over there that uh, thankfully for them, most of them live further in the south. But uh, I'm going to play a song right now from my last record that I wrote uh, after my first trip over there about the wonderful beautiful city of Osaka.
Well, uh, I think this is kind of a request, or at least somebody, somebody this morning I saw, I can't remember if it was on which social networking site I saw it, but somebody said they were coming to the show and they wanted to hear this song, so we'll see if that's, yeah, right there? All right. Unless it was, a, unless you, it was a different, unless there were two of them and I didn't see yours. We'll see. You wanted to hear Rock the Bells by LL Cool J, right? That was, okay. Good. <clears throat> we're on the same page then. This is, a, this is based on a true story about a, about a girl that uh, was the valedictorian of her high school class and she got up at her high school graduation to give a speech and, and she took her clothes off. And, uh, and I read about it in the newspaper and I thought it was kind of a neat story and they didn't say how the story ended so I decided to write a song and end it my, end it my own way. <laughs> That sounded really cryptic and, and almost dangerous, but it's not. It it ends in a very in a very heartfelt and, and 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 beautiful. Look, there's a piano right there. Oh, is that that? I was reading about that. There's pianos everywhere now, right? Yeah, and you can just play them. Wow. Did this, you hear about that, Mark? This song's in B flat. If anybody wants to. <laughs> you, they they put they, there's pianos all over all over Austin right now, and you can just play them. All right. That is such a cooler thing. You know, in some towns they do the, I don't know if you've seen, they do the cows. I've seen that traveling around. There'll be these cows and artists decorate the cows. And that's, that's pretty cool because they get local artists to decorate a cow. Or I've, seen, I've seen pigs also, and I think here they had guitars, right? Um, but pianos. No, I don't think you get to decorate it. You just get to play it. Um, but if you, like say if your kid wants to take piano lessons, and you don't have a piano, you could probably set up just lesson times, like have your piano teacher meet you at City Hall, and then you could have your piano lesson. I'm pretty sure that's sanctioned by the city. Yes, okay. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah, that's what I'm getting. That is the case. She 
just keeps on sticking to her speech Feeling like the prom queen Shuts off the microphone the Pandemonium ensues She turns and runs across the football field Nothing but her socks and shoes Sheds are closed in the midday Between spring and summer sun She says, this is who I am And I'll never see any of you ever again Thank you. Thank you guys for coming out today to the City Hall. So I'm gonna play one right now that I wrote for uh, that I wrote for my wife. She's uh, she's at home busy working on the the artwork for my new record, which uh, looks is, good. It, it does. It looks good. There's looks some cool really, stuff really going good. on. I didn't think that I was going to be into the whole idea of splatter paint just uh, on its own for a record cover, but I I think I'm coming around. In the right hands. Yeah. Couldn't see you from space I'm right next to you Whatever you decide to do I've got your back We're on the same track In the universe Your molecule In my eyes Your great big deal Bigger than the moon You're the only tune Got your back, we're on the same track. And if we're moving, then we're moving together. And if we're standing still, then it's still forever. Ship's gonna be here 
Oh, if it never comes in, I would do it all again. I've got your back, we're on the same track. And if a big wave washed it all away, the apocalypse and the judgment day, I would testify. Looking God in the eye, saying I got her back. It's a little step in the right direction Couldn't see it from space I'm right next to you Whatever you decide to do I've got your back We're on the same track And if we're moving Then we're moving together And if we're standing still Then it's still Forever Thank you. <laughs> I think so. Don't yeah, don't be shy about utilizing the dance floor. The city spent a lot of money on putting this dance floor <laughs> in here, so we want to make sure we get the most for our tax dollars. <laughs> So I'm going to segue from, from a, a, a song about my wife into a song about my wife. We've, uh, just last year we celebrated uh, 20 years together and, um, and it was, it, th that's nice, thank you. Um, but at, now that you've already applauded and you can't take it back, a lot of those years weren't very good. It was, you know, it was a, there was a lot of work in progress, um, but we made it through 20 years and, and uh, and I've written her a lot of songs over the years, and some of those have been love songs, and some have been uh, apology songs, and some have been uh, some, some amalgam of all of those things all together, and complicated, complicated long-term relationship songs. And, uh, and I, realized, I realized last year that, that I had not, uh, I'd never really written her a song that kind of was more about when we first met when we were, when we were 18 and, and we were in high school together. And so I wrote this song kind of with that in mind, and it's, uh, it's going to be on the new record. surprise hiding behind you I'm 
juggling the world, I'm juggling fire. I've painted all my faces to reflect you. I'm running up and down the streets, I'm the town crier. I um, I'm kind of gullible. I'm not too quick on the uptake with uh, with uh, jokes or April Fool's jokes. For like when I when I saw the cover of the Chronicle, I don't know if you guys have seen that. It took me a while. I didn't. I was like, what? They're doing what? That's crazy. But then it was a joke. I didn't realize. Did you guys see it? It says they're going to build a nine-story, was it nine-story nine dome to house South by Southwest? In Bastrop. <laughs> In Bastrop. No, no, no. I thought, I thought it seemed plausible, but I guess it's not really happening. All right, well, here's one about an imaginary dog. My imaginary dog. Which, if my, if my son gets his way, it might, be, it might be a real dog soon. Yeah. yeah. I'm getting one too. Are you getting a dog? Oh, wow. Gosh. I'm trying, I'm trying to stay up on the trends. I'm trying to stay hip and relevant. And I guess maybe that means getting a dog. I don't know if either one of those instances are a barometer for what's hip and all the. Okay. Either what I, although what Arlo's my, doing. My son or you. Yeah, I'd say what Arlo's doing is always pretty cool. Yeah, he's on the cutting edge. Okay. He invented the edge. 
I won't play any more April Fool's jokes on you, Mark. Mark went to the Capitol building earlier. Sorry, Mark. No, I played it on myself. That was, that was an unintentional April Fool's joke. Played you played it on yourself. Well, he did, but, but he did pass some groundbreaking legislation while he was there, <laughs> though, too. So it wasn't, it was, it wasn't all for naught. Yeah. <laughs> you got the pianos out. That's good. Well, this is, uh, this is a song that is for, for some other legislation, some earmarks that didn't have, have yet to go through over, uh, over in one of my favorite states, right behind, right behind Texas, not my favorite state, but my favorite state after Texas, Alaska. <laughs>
If you've not yet met this guy, this is my banjo ukulele, sometimes known as a banjo lele, or a yuka banjo, or a buke a lele. It's coming up on the eight-year anniversary of when I last changed the strings on my ukulele, which usually it likes. It likes that 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 span, that time span. I think it's getting upset with me now. She read a song about when you first put those strings on. <laughs> Do, we're gonna do a little song here that uh, that I wrote for my daughter when she was very very little, and we decided, uh, my wife and I decided that um, that we would kind of take off for the summer and and get out of the get out of the hot sun and just travel around with her, and uh, it was a lot of fun. And I, I bought I bought this ukulele that summer and wrote this song for her. The 
say hello, say goodbye. Mama laugh and mama cry. Standing up and falling down. Daddy's here, then he's out of town. Northern California, here we come. Let's go. Scrappy Joe. Thank you guys so much again for coming out and listening to us today at City Hall. We're, we're, we're very honored to be here and uh, happy to, to kick off the season. And um, we're going to do one more song for you. And um, I just played a song for my daughter, so now I have to play a song for my son. That's the way it works when you have two kids. Um, in fact, the other day I played, um, we had the, the opening day for the South Austin Little League, um, where my son plays Little League. We they did the opening day ceremonies and they asked me to come and, and, and sing a couple of songs and then they asked me to also sing the national anthem and uh, I was absolutely terrified and I did not want to sing the national anthem and so I asked the guy that had, had uh, asked me to do it I said uh, I don't think I can do the national anthem and he said that's okay we have a great recording of it and I was like oh great okay so I didn't have to I got out of singing the national anthem um, I feel bad. I, it's kind of like jury duty. At some point, I should have to do it, and so I'll, I'll work harder for next time. But I was really happy to not have to do it um, at the opening day of the South Austin Little League. And, um, but I did play a few songs uh, as part of the ceremony. And I played, I played this song that I wrote for my daughter, and then I played this, this song I'm about to play right now that I wrote for my son. And, I, and when I introduced this song, I, I said, this is a song that I wrote for my son. And, and he's playing South Austin Little League, you know, go team. And when I played the one I wrote for my daughter, I didn't, I didn't introduce it properly, apparently. Because afterwards, I got, I got in trouble. My daughter came up and she said, why didn't, you, why didn't you tell them that that song was for me? And I said, well, you know, you know, it was, you know, it was for you. And it's your brother's, you know, it's your brother's opening day. You're not playing Little League, so it's okay. And she said, no, it's not okay. <laughs> So I th hopefully today I did it right. I introduced the last one. I okay, I think, I, think I think we're good. All right. So this is a song that I wrote for my son Arlo, who is no greater than nor lesser than my daughter. They are equal. What's your daughter's name? <sighs> Ramona. There you go. Now they're equal. Is that, is that we're good? Okay. My great grandma Martha, she mashed her food up in a bowl. Whatever meal was intended, she always ate a casserole. We had the government cheese 
and a tube of liver worst. My mom said that we should try it. I said that she should try it first. You are an animal boy. Your mouth is open. My brother was a method eater. He studied long into the night. When all the dishes are done drying, he had not taken his first bite. We had a vegetable garden, a twice as big as our house, with six or seven types of fruit trees. We hardly ever. I've started making my own smoothies, buying bananas by the ton, all the way from Costa Rica. 'Cause you can't grow them in the Texas sun. My ancestors grew something. Real food is all I know. We're gonna grow a little boy, just like one. You are.